You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, we're about to talk about NBA player Dwight Howard. Okay, so if you were awake last night between the hours of 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. and you were on Twitter, then you would know that Dwight Howard was trending. He was trending number two, and then he was trending number one. And he was trending because a man by the name of Mason Elisha, I hope I'm saying his name right, but Mason Elisha is a gay man, and he claims that Dwight Howard is his ex-boyfriend. And he was pissed off because Dwight Howard allegedly cheated on him at transgender sex parties and he was also pissed off in exposing the fact that Dwight Howard's pastor Mr. Calvin Simmons allegedly threatened his life he said that the pastor not only threatened his life but he sexually harassed him and threw a lot of gay homophobic slurs at him so in fear for his life he claims that he's releasing all of these receipts just in case he turned up dead we'll know who did it allegedly okay I have all of the receipts for you guys I have the screen records I have the screenshots I have the voice records of this alleged conversation that he had with Dwight Howard as well as a live video where he went on his Instagram live and he explained everything I'm gonna show all of that to you guys but first I'm gonna give you my personal opinion that I usually hold for the end of my video but I'm gonna give it now y'all my personal opinion is very short and sweet my opinion is that this man Mason Elisha or however you say his name this man seems to be a clout chaser in my personal opinion after releasing releasing all of the receipts that he allegedly has on Dwight Howard, he then goes to promote the fact that he has a book out which is titled Industry Ho. And then he goes and talks about the fact that he has another book coming out and he says that book is going to be so lit. So as you can see, he's promoting his book, trying to make some money, trying to get some clout, but in the same breath, he's saying that the only reason I'm talking about this is because my life was threatened and I'm scared for my life. So like I said, he's promoting his book, Industry Ho, and another book that he has coming out. He's scared for his life, but he's still trying to get a coin. I don't know. It just seems like a whole clout chasing situation. I'm just saying. It just makes me feel bad for the entire LGBTQ plus community because I know that the community wants to be taken seriously. They don't want to be seen as a joke as fetishes or as secrets and most importantly they don't want to be seen as something is wrong with who they are so when you're outing someone for having sex with you then obviously you're furthering that stigma that something's wrong with sleeping with you if nothing's wrong with sleeping with you why are you outing someone for sleeping with you y'all it just confuses the heck out of me and I don't want to offend anybody in the community but situations like this is why we give most of y'all the side eye when y'all outing somebody most gay trans or bisexual people most of them have been in the closet and they know what that feels like so seeing somebody in the community outing somebody else who's in the closet it just makes me lose all respect for that person not for the whole community for that person but anyways, let's get into these receipts. I want y'all to make y'all own opinion based on what this man put out. Okay, so it's a lot of receipts. I'm not reading everything word for word. You can pause it if you want to. Okay, so he says that he was afraid to speak out because he was being sexually harassed and threatened. And he specifically talks about Dwight Howard's pastor. He says that this pastor is very crooked and he tried to get him to take hush money. And then he talks about Dwight Howard and how he actually met him. He says that he met him on the set of Wild and Out. He said they made eye contact and then later that night allegedly Dwight Howard was in his DMs he said that the conversation started to escalate he started to send Dwight Howard nudes allegedly and then he goes forward to say that Dwight Howard was fine he's 6'11 goofy very charming no wife and never been married so of course I was interested I kept it real with him and he kept it real with me about everything except one thing and then this is where he showed his first actual quote-unquote proof that him and Dwight Howard were talking so as you can see he asked him does your mother brother friends know that you deal with trans and men or that's just something you've kept to yourself and then Dwight Howard says why are you asking me for Then he says I'd like to know then Dwight says I don't want to answer then he says why then Dwight says I don't want to Then he says I can't know for real and then Dwight Howard says it's nothing to know and then he says but you date trans and men's tranny is what you call them and then he says I don't have an answer for you so I guess he's trying to say nowhere in this message Dwight Howard denies liking or dating trans men or gay men so 
I guess that's his proof that number one, they were in contact and number two, in these messages, Dwight Howard does not deny dating gay men or trans. Now keep in mind, this is all alleged. Y'all know people can Photoshop and I don't know. This has not been confirmed as real, but, but this is what he put out. Okay, so then he went forward to release all of these recordings that's allegedly between him and Dwight Howard. And this is after he has found out that allegedly Dwight Howard was cheating at transgender sex parties. Listen to this and then I'm coming back with some more. Bro, you know, it's HIV out there. It's herpes out there. It's other STDs out there. And you're going to sex parties fucking people raw. Like what type of man does, did your mother raise you to be a man like that? Did your father raise you to be a man like that? Yeah, my gosh, that's all you can say. And, and you know that I'm not lying, because if I was lying, you would say, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. You're lying, and you know I'm not lying. Just keep it real. No, oh my God, I literally have been speaking to you for, oh, oh my God, I've been speaking to you for some time now, Dwight. I've been speaking to you for some time now, Dwight. I sent you nudes of me, Dwight. I sent you nudes in general, Dwight. You told me that you wanted to be in your ass, Dwight. You told me that you want to suck Dwight. You have been flirting, Dwight. You knew what I was, Dwight. So what the fuck are you talking about? Am I lying? Oh, you now you got amnesia. Oh my God, now you have am amnesia. That's a damn shame, Dwight. Okay, so he put those recordings out and then he said that the relationship between him and Dwight was pretty much over in his eyes, especially after Dwight allegedly said that he was going to beat the ish out of him. So then he went on to say that he was getting stalked and harassed from somebody that he thought was Dwight Howard at first and then he found out that the person was not Dwight Howard. He said he entertained a couple conversations, but it turned out it was not Dwight. And I'm thinking in my mind, how do you not know you were not talking to Dwight for however many conversations if you dealt with him on that level and clearly he's saying that he knew Dwight Howard on a sexual level so he's saying he knew him on a sexual level but then when things went left he ended up getting stalked and he entertained it for a while thinking it was Dwight but it turned out not to be Dwight I'm just trying to figure out how do you not know your man's voice but anyways he claims that the person that was actually stalking and harassing him turned out to be Dwight Howard's pastor allegedly and the pastor's name is Calvin Simmons so what I'm gonna play for you right now is the audio allegedly between the pastor Calvin Simmons and Mason Elisha I don't even know if I'm saying his name right okay listen to this and then we coming back with some more Okay, so then he goes forward to say that allegedly Calvin and Dwight's team began to say things like, we know where you're at, we're watching you. And he says that he's afraid for his life, he's panicking, he's having anxiety attacks. And then he goes forward to refer to Dwight Howard as a 6'11 bottom, okay? And then one of the last tweets that he put out was basically saying that he has already contacted the police. This is his truth, this is his proof. He claims that Dwight Howard is heartless and has the power to stop all of this, but he won't. So then he went on to his Instagram live to really defend himself because at this point, people like me and other people only see him as being a clout chaser. It just seems like he's trying to sell his book, get some clout, get a little buzz around his name. And like I said, make some money selling his book. So he went on his Instagram live to tell more details. He mentions that he is not transgender, but that he is just a gay man. A lot of people been 
I've been confusing my sexuality and my, my, my misgender in me. I'm not a transgender. I'm a gay man. I'm a gay man. I'm not transgender. You know, I have hair. I have real hair. Yes, I wear weave, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. But, you know, I'm not transgender at all. And there's a lot of other details that he talks about, specifically about Dwight Howard. And then at one point, he started to promote his own book. And I want to I wanna, I wanna say this. My book, Industry Ho, very fucking interesting book. I speak about non-disclosures in my book on chapter what? I mean, that part and many other parts in this video makes me personally feel like he's a clout chaser just trying to sell his book. But listen, I don't want to put any words in his mouth or put something out there that's not true. I want you guys to watch the whole video, listen to exactly what he says, and y'all make your own decision. Check this out and then I want you guys to comment your thoughts below and let me know if you think he is a clout chaser or if you think he's telling the truth. But I'm done with my commentary and my opinion, so I'll catch y'all in the next video. Say something about my mom real quick. Give me two seconds, you okay? No, 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 I'm okay. What I need you to do is get on your, get on Kendra's live and record my live. Okay, I'll live and record Get on Kendra's live and screen record it. You just screen record it? Yeah. I need it for me though. I'm on live right now. Alright, I got Do you. it now, not later. Now. Okay. And then you can put your phone down and then talk to your mom. I'm gonna do it. Okay, bye. Just... Okay. So, I want to address a couple of things. I'm kind of laughing because this is very funny. You know, it's not funny. It's not, let me, let me be serious because it's not, it's actually not funny. You know, lies, allegations, you know, and shit is really not funny especially when you know i really don't know what to say i really didn't practice what the fuck i was going to say you know so you know i guess i'm just gonna really have to let it flow because honestly I, I really wasn't even prepared for this i just seen something online that said that i was trying to extort somebody so i'm not gonna read no comments because i know you motherfuckers is talking shit i'm gonna read the comments leaders will save your fucking bullshit ass comments save that bullshit okay little bitch okay let me be professional so, I'm not going to really go into detail about, you know, how I know this person or whatever, D. I'm just going to call him D. Um, well, I feel like this one, Dwight Howard. I'm, I'm not going to go into detail about how I know Dwight Howard because I just feel like my point was never to expose him or to prove that I was, that I knew him or prove that we did anything, you know, that was never really the point, you feel what I'm saying? The point has always been that I was sexually harassed, harassed, threatened, yelled homophobic slurs at, called a faggot in a wig, and bitch, this is not a fucking wig, okay? And, um, you know... You know, I was called a knockoff tranny. Um, you know, I was told that I don't have tranny money. You know, tranny's a slur, but I'm just repeating what was said to me. Um, what else? You know, I was told that I'm playing with hot fire and that, you know, um, they have money. The difference between me and them is that they have money to handle me. Okay? There was a lot of shit that I, I have so many fucking hours of recording. So let me get one thing fucking straight, too. Okay? Let me get one thing fucking straight. Thank you, Kyla. Love you, bitch. Hair always laid. Um, let me get one thing straight. Damn, what the fuck I was about to say? I really forgot what the fuck I was about to say. I said, let me get one thing straight. I got so much shit on my mind. This is really sad. Like, I'm really hurt. I really am hurt. Like, I can sit here and act like I'm not, but I, I genuinely am really embarrassed. I really am hurt. Um, it's a lot that's going on in my mind. I forgot what I was going to say, but, you know, that's just how I'm racing my mind is. But I have a lot of records of, you know, conversations. Oh, I know what I was going to say. A lot of people are saying if you trusted somebody, you know, why would you record them? 
that I need to be careful when I say this. I have, when you're talking to somebody for a minute and you know them and then there's a change in, you know, how they're acting and things that they're saying and then you realize that you might really end up how the other people were baby mothers girlfriends you know 16 year olds that you're getting pregnant you know you're paying them off making them have abortions and shit like that or whatever you know when you realize that a person is capable of doing you wrong you gotta have your back you feel what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna have your back more than you're gonna have your back. You feel what I'm saying? So I didn't record anybody from the beginning. I began to record when something was said to me. And I'm not gonna tell you what was said, but something very crazy was said. And it made me very leery. And I was like, you know what? I gotta definitely have my fucking back. Cause I'm not going, I'm, you know. And look. I'm accused of extortion. Accused of fucking extortion. So if I didn't have my record that I have, the many hours of them, then what? I would have been labeled on the internet as a cloud chaser, a vagin in a wig, that's chasing and stalking athletes. I'm trying to extort motherfuckers for money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I would have been being dragged, you know? So like I said, I'm not going to get into the detail. I just wanted to really speak about Exhibit 1 Live. Because I told you guys on Twitter, every time something is said, I'm going to come back with the proof. And we're going to shut that shit the fuck down. Because a lot of motherfuckers is used and they're comfortable, you know, with doing people dirty. And they're used to paying people off, closing their mouth and shit like that. I'm not that bitch. I'm not that bitch. You know, you're not going to disrespect me. You're not going to play me. You're not going to lie on me and, and get away with it. You feel what I'm saying? You get what you get. So we're going to get into it. Because I don't know what else to say. You know, I really don't know what else to say. I don't know which one is first, honestly. And I hope you guys... I never asked you guys if you could hear me. Can you, can you guys hear me? I guess they can hear me. Because no, I don't that would be so crazy if I'm talking this whole time and nobody can hear me. You lie. Oh my God, these people talking about fucking. <laughs> okay, we hear you. Okay, so I'm gonna play the first record. I don't know what um you know order is in, but I just wanna I just wanna make sure that we understand what extortion is and also understand that this faggot in a wig ain't asking no money. Okay. 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 Well, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me play it over. The first thing I said was, um, what haven't I been honest with you about? I kind of, it's like, it's like I, I was chipping that in and out, but that's the first thing I said was, I know somebody said them fingers, child. Yeah, I do. I bite my nails. Shit, I've been biting my nails like fucking crazy now. But I'm about to play it. Okay, so people are saying that they can't hear. Damn, you guys can't fucking hear? Okay, so he said, in order to go to the next level, we have to put some things in place. Then he said, why? Because it takes care of you and it takes care of me. So while I'm listening to it, I'm like, we gonna play. Then he said, I didn't ask 
ask you to sign a non-disclosure, but then he's continuing. I didn't ask you to sign a non-disclosure, and then without you being covered. Oh my God, this nigga calling me. What's up? Hi. Nigga, stop calling me. Stop calling me. Oh my God, now the number to be blocked. God damn. Okay. So that was the first audio, okay? The first fucking audio. So let's go to get on to the second one. Wait for them to say something else so I can 
so I can say what I want to say. Every lie that they tell, I have the truth to back it up with. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. So, um, that's really that. You would have took the money and put him on blast. There was nothing to put on blast. There was nothing to put on blast. You know, just learn from this, definitely. You know, at the end of the day, I, I, another thing I want to make clear. I really like Dwight for Dwight, you know. But like I said, when you realize that a person changes, you know, within conversation and they're really not, you know, they're really not portraying who they, you know, say that they are and stuff like that, you know, you get leery. And like I said, something was said to me before I found out about him, you know, um, allegedly going to transgender sex parties and stuff like that or whatever. And, you know, finding out that was kind of disgusting. It definitely put knots in my stomach because I'm thinking, you know, like, you're a guy... From what I seen at that time, you had a beautiful soul, very goofy, you know, you was just all around, he was just all around, you know, attractive, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so I really liked conversation now. I really liked, you know, and, and, and let me elaborate, relationship, because a lot of people was like, you were in a relationship with him. From my understanding, we had an understanding, so, you know, that's really all that that matters. I know that I wasn't in a two-year, three-year relationship with this motherfucker. I know that they're really, like, you know, when you're when you when you're starting something, you're starting something. I never, I'm not trying to prove that I was talking to like uh, everybody's missing the fucking point. The point is a fucking pastor, somebody that's supposed to encourage, uplift, love, pray, is calling me a fucking faggot in a wig, telling me I'm going to die, telling me to watch my back, telling me that they are having me watch. A pastor. A pastor. A pastor. So, I don't get why every... I understand that everybody is so easy. Like, you know, it's, it's easy to talk about Dwight. It's easy to talk about, you know, people being gay and stuff like that. You know, that's easy. But everybody's straying away from the point of why I said something. They try to take my voice away after they threatened me. After they already threatened me, they continued to threaten me. The threats got worse. That's why I said something. If this shit wouldn't have happened, I would have walked away from that situation and I would have never said anything. I would have never said anything. What do you gain from dealing with someone who has a failed career? He is not Michael Jordan. He is not Kobe Bryant. He is not LeBron. He's not even fucking KD or KB, whatever, you know, I think KD. What do you gain from being with some, for, for, for saying that? You know how many people he's been with? He has like fucking eight baby mothers. What do, what do you gain from that? But the reason why I spoke is because of this. And at the end of the day, every time they lie, I'm going to continue to come out with the audios of what was actually going on. I never asked anybody for money. I never tried to extort anybody. I never lied on anybody. I'm, ne I'm not trying to expose anybody. However, what they're trying to do, and like they said in another audio, is that they're going to, my, my credibility online, because they know that I was an influencer, they said they're going to take that away. And that's what they're trying to do. Extortion? First of all, if I try to extort you, let, let's, let's put it like this. If I try to extort you, okay, let's, 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 let's put it like this. You never met me. We never did anything. I was never talking to Dwight, so they say. This is the things that they've been saying. Why would somebody try to extort you if they don't have something on you that is worth extorting? You got to think about that. You got to think before you say. You got to think before you do. On top of that, I have video and audio of me saying that I never wanted money after they tried to push money on me. After in the video, you see them saying, I wanted to trust you. I want to put some things in place first. I want you to sign an NDA. What the fuck is that for? I'm confused, like, I just, I just don't get it, you know, like, I've signed an NDA before and I would never sign one again, and I want to, I want to say this, my book, Industry Ho, 
very fucking interesting book. I speak about non-disclosures in my book on chapter what? Six. Chapter six. I speak about non-disclosures. You say, why not? The reason why I wouldn't sign a non-disclosure is because that's basically taking away your voice. Once you sign that non-disclosure, if they beat your ass, if they rape you, you cannot speak. You cannot speak. If like you can whatever they do to you, you cannot speak on that. From my understanding. Now I don't know about non-disclosures, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that when you sign something, whatever goes on with that person and you has to stay between you, stay between y'all. So if they harm you in any shape, form, or fashion, you cannot speak on that. I don't want to speak on that because like I said, like I said, something was said to me that made me leery. Period. Period. That's it. I don't gotta keep explaining why I didn't want to sign it. This is my right. This is my life. If I don't want to sign shit, I just don't want to sign it. Respect that. You don't gotta threaten me. You don't gotta harass me. You don't gotta call me from private numbers and have your, your pastor calling me and your team calling me trying to persuade me. Bitch, I said no. That's it. Respect it. I got plenty fucking audio of them trying to put money on me. Trying to put, you know, non disclosure And I, I continue to say no. And in one of the videos when I said that's what I wanted, I'm going to tell you what I said and why I cut it off. I said the only thing I wanted was a real relationship with you. And that was because at the time, that's what I wanted. Before all of the crazy shit started to happen, because they kept trying to say that I wanted money, that this was a hustle. Because they're used to shit like that. And that's what the pastor was saying. That they're used to people coming into his life, his, his life, and trying to finesse him. The only thing I wanted was a relationship at that time. When shit went left, I said, now lean back. Now lean back. Bitch, I was out. I was out. Okay? So... Yeah, ain't nobody want to deal with nobody that's motherfucking um, dealing, you know, fucking damn, um... Oh, another thing I want to say. A lot of people been uh, been confusing my sexuality and my, my, my misgender in me. I'm not a transgender. I'm a gay man. I'm a gay man. I'm not transgender. You know, I have hair. I have real hair. Yes, I wear weave, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. But, you know, I'm not transgender at all. So a lot of transgender people were reaching out to me like, yo, can you please confirm that or let people know? Because, you know, it's like a label. Just because you see somebody with hair, they're transgender. I'm not transgender. I don't have titties. I don't have titties. You know, none of that. You know, so... But I'm done speaking about it. That's that's exhibit one. I'm not gonna like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail. I know people want me to go into detail. Listen, I'm not going into details about no damn delight. Okay? I'm not going into detail because that's not the point. The point is I was disrespected, harassed, sexually harassed, mistreated, manipulated, used, a whole lot of shit. Threatened, most importantly, threatened. Threatened, made to feel uncomfortable, belittled. Shit, a lot of fucking shit, man. A lot of shit. And you know what really fucked me up? I told something, I told Dwight something that was private about something that happened to me when I was little. And I finally had the courage to speak about it on social media. And I don't want sympathy, I don't, want, I, I don't really want, even want to say this, but it's real shit. This dude went back, allegedly, and told, allegedly, his pastor, allegedly, that I was molested. And the pastor, allegedly, not so allegedly, but allegedly, made fun of that on video. This is ridiculous. And then everybody's saying, you know, why would you record it? First of all, I spoke to my lawyer. In the state of Washington, D.C., only one party has to agree to record it, okay? I agree. And that's all that matters. Um, and they were recording me as well. I'm pretty sure some shit, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna try to leak some shit. They told me a whole lot of shit. Listen, I got, 
these motherfuckers really is, is, is not a game, you know, but it is what it is, it is what it is, I'm not going to, um, you know, continue to speak about this, but for right now, you know, I'm definitely going to, uh, clear that, never try to extort nobody, so make sure you guys have that on record, I'm not a transgender, I'm not trying to expose the white, I'm trying to expose his pastor, I cannot speak on the pastor without letting you guys know where this shit stemmed from because if I would have came out and spoke about the pastor and I would have said he's cursing me out and threatening me to make me sign an NDA he's harassing me calling me non-stop you know everybody been like well what NDA what the fuck is going on and then I would have to explain then when I would have said it's about Dwight they would have said what happened with you and Dwight Dwight who the basketball player then I would have to say well, I was dealing with him, or we had a friendship, or whatever the case might be. Then they would have said, you were dealing with him. Oh, he's blank? So I just put it out there. We had a friendship. We had an understanding, you know, period. I never talked about sex. Not going to talk about sex. You know, just period, okay? It's not that big of a deal with that. People are who they are, and they are entitled to be who they are. But when you are sending threats, threats, you're trying to intimidate somebody. Then you're lying on social media. You're trying to assassinate my character by saying that I'm extorting you. And that's what they told me. That's what they said. They, that's what they said because I kept it real. I kept it real with him about who I dealt with before. You know. And I told him that I, I wasn't planning on speaking out about this situation. And I wasn't that type of person. He said that in the video. He said, you said that you're not that type of person, you know, and stuff like that. I'm, I wasn't, I'm not that type of person, you know, but when you're being harassed and you're being threatened, you gotta stick up for yourself. And people continue to say, why were you recording? Something happened. Something happened and I decided to record. And, I just, and then after that, I was pushed to sign an NDA that I did not want to sign. I was offered money. I did not take it. I was offered money with no price at that, okay? Nobody set a price, not me, not them. I did not want to take it. Because either way you put it, if somebody gives you money to, to, for your silence, for, for, for your voice, that is illegal. I did not want to do that. I wanted to be left alone. I wanted to drop the situation, which it wasn't even that big of a situation. It just started over something petty. And then you wanted me to sign an NDA and I didn't want to sign an NDA. And being that, you know, you're such a controlling person and, and I wasn't trying to cooperate with you. You decided to, to offend me and, and disrespect me and threaten me to scare me. No, that's not how it's going to go, period. And everything that I'm saying, I can put on my life. Everything that I'm, that I'm saying, I swear to God. I put that on my life. Everything that I'm saying is true. And it's, it's, it, it, it's really about the pastor. It's really about his team. The only reason why I'm offended and, and I feel hurt with the white is because I genuinely cared about him. I genuinely fucked with him. Before he started showing me his true colors, before I found out about the damn transgender sex parties and you fucking all, allegedly, allegedly, fucking everybody unprotectedly, allegedly, 